What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dead State. I'm happy to have you here with me today as we hang out and talk with Vic. I got a few questions for you. You've been outside splendid, how bad is it out there? Were you paying attention when I told you about the sheriff? It's anarchy out there, people are killing people for stale bread. And those things, I'm not a superstitious man, but those are dead people walking around out there and that ain't right. Still, we got this place and that's a whole lot more than some folks. Alright, so how bad is the fence right now? That's the other thing, is we kind of need the fence to be worked on a bit. I know that we've got a bunch of parts, and the fence takes damage every day, so you've got to, like, check on it every now and again. Fence repair. It's got 50 HP. Okay. Well. I may have him repair the fence for a little while. We only have 20 parts left over though, but I guess that's what I'll have him do. I'll have him repair it. We'll go that up. That'll bring it up to 70 HP. If you don't know where the HP are, if you look at the bottom of the screen, there's some blue text. I can't show you down there because it'll disappear, but there's blue text. And it tells you how much HP the fence has. I think there's also a goal for us to actually finish that, to repair the fence like all the way. Yeah. Explore five new locations, special luxury items given. There's all kinds of goals around here. We need to get some more stuff, though. Definitely need to get some more stuff. Some of these seem like they repeat, too. I don't know. We brought back a bunch of food last night, so I think we're probably in decent shape. In the previous episode, I let Getz leave, the guy that showed up all crazy style with blood all over him and everything. If he wanted to leave, I'm not going to... Oh, shit. Why is he just hanging out right here? I don't like this. I told you to leave, man. Oh, if he goes psycho and kills everybody before he leaves. Oh, man. I kind of feel like I should maybe wait an hour or two to see what he does. Let's go. We haven't been to Lano Residential yet. Chunk Brothers Factory's way out there. I don't know. Let's hit these locations. We'll go one by one. Looks like there's a ghost town. Oh, this is a coyote encounter. I've done this before. So what we need to do is we need to sneak carefully around here. But this is a really good opportunity for us to get parts. So, my advice would be to go around behind the back of the buildings. I've had this before in another playthrough. Actually, it's not the coyote one. It's just the looter one. Okay. Mm, that guy came over and investigated and then stabbed me with a goddamn... Oh, shit. Come on, man. Homie just stabbed me twice with a screwdriver. This adventure is already off to a bad start. I guess I'll put her right there and we'll get started on this looter. Maybe set that as his active. Take a shot at that guy, maybe killing him. Maybe. Unfortunately, this ended up with my character all out of weird whack. I'm gonna swap him in right there. There we go. You can stab me. Stab me all day long. I got shields and shit, man. I got I'm like the USS Enterprise. I'll be like, shields up, and nothing will happen. You'll be like, pachow, pachow, and then it'll just bounce off of me because that's how I roll. Mm hmm. You know the gunshot's gonna bring the other ones over here. That's why I took my turn first. I just spammed on the space bar hella hard. We're kinda lumped up right now. And I can't say that I like that very much. This one's got a gun, which is concerning. I think Tweedle Time will get a turn first though. Best case scenario is we kill her before she gets at us. Set that as the active. Go for a slash! Oh man! That was supposed to be like your special beam cannon, bro, and you messed it up. There we go, another one bites the dust. It was no gunshots fired right there. Hopefully they won't come investigate. You can get a bunch of parts from this map, which is why we actually want to hang in here. If it was the coyote encounter, I'd probably run for it. Let me have you up front first. See if I can sneak around behind this guy and deal with him. 
Get dealt with, noob! Yeah! Dominated! Absolute domination! Enjoyable, too. I enjoy winning on that level. It pleases me. Does that guy have a tire iron or a crowbar? What is that? It's like a sickle or something. Oh my god, okay. So, somebody should probably go square off with this guy, just in case. Oh. Basic attack, there we go. Get a little bit of damage done. He's got a helmet on, so it absorbed a little bit of the damage. Finish that one off before we go anywhere else. Get my medic over here. And we'll go ahead and get... Yeah, that seems okay. We'll have him basic attack twice. And so, unfortunately, his battle cry of Muad Dib did not actually make him do any better. That weapon has the tendency to break. I've had that sickle before, and it's like an okay weapon, but it breaks a lot. We should be able to bring him down with just another swing or two. There we go. And then the neighborhood should be clean, I think. I've had this encounter before, so... Oh, good, we got pepper spray. That'll be nice. Pepper spray, some knives, a bullet... Essentially, we're basically almost full up already before we even leave. Oh, never mind. I didn't unload my inventory because I took a break after the last video that I recorded. Oh, that's super special. I love myself right now. Okay, well, bring this stuff along. You're full up. Ugh. Okay, so we got to go back to base. I messed up. We should still be able to accomplish something, but I still screwed the pooch. There's a bunch of parts here, so it's not that bad. We get some gasoline. Some parts off the front of the buildings. Some of these buildings won't light up with the little looty thing, so just like check them anyways. And these tend to be, this event right here, if you can get it a couple times in a row, you can actually end up with a whole bunch of extra parts and stuff. I think there was also a pile of scrap back here or something that I forgot about, so we'll grab that as well. There we go. So seven parts out of the whole thing. Not too terrible. Not too terrible. I... Parts are always hard to come by in this game. I always have trouble, like, locating them. I also feel like I should maybe start leveling up mechanically or something because I feel like our characters, none of our characters have good mechanic skill. Oh, yeah, he's got a skill point. One skill point. He's got two skill points, but I can't allocate them. Maybe you can only do it back at base? I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to do that. It's kind of strange like that. I'll probably go with... With three points... Let's push for... Hmm. Well... I may spend a couple points in mechanical or something so that I can start upgrading my own gear, because I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't want to lose in the gear race, but I'm going to save the skill points for right now. Okay, so we got to turn back. Luckily, we didn't get that far before we got attacked, so... Good. At least we didn't waste too much time. Why is Get still hanging out here? This is worrying. This is very, very worrying. I don't like this at all. Alright, so there we go. Now we can unload all of this stuff. Not you, you're not coming. I could probably just go ham mode on a lot of this stuff, which is what I'm gonna do. We actually have quite a bit of good stuff now. Oh, we got another shield? That's pretty sweet. I didn't even realize I picked that up. I might put that on somebody else just to make them a little bit more efficient. I keep my hammer, thank you. Looks like we also got some more combat boots. Put the bullets in there. Alright, that's pretty good. I'll probably keep these around. Can I put those in? Oh, it's a weapon. Okay. So we'll wait on that. Elaine Martin, give us more bullets. We actually have enough rounds right now to where I think we could probably get away with having firearms on people. Joel. Probably not. Anita. Apparently my land guy has decided, the guy that does the landscaping in my apartment complex has decided to leave blower like right this second. The brush hook's a pretty decent idea. Were it not for the fact that I like our setup that we have already, I'm not really interested in dropping my shield at all. A couple bullets right there, some shells, some extra codeine. Let's refill our medic's bag. She's at 10 out of 20, so I think we're going to need it. 
Let's see here. Medical. There it is. There. So now that that's nice and filled up, we should be good there. She's got room for an extra item. So I may give her the pepper spray so that she can use that to blind people. It lowers their attack chance by like 30% or something. It's a pretty significant nerf. Everybody have armor? I feel like this guy's going to go psycho mode and murder everybody. You don't have any armor? Armor is not clickable right now. Huh. Okay, that's weird. It's not letting me click the armor tab, strangely enough. Let's make sure that everybody has good gear on, though. He's got a helmet. Doug, what are you rocking on your scalp right now? Use that. Also, hmm, who do I want to have the shield? I think Elaine might do okay with the shield. Let's give it to her. Does she have the strength to use it? Oh, that's right. It has to be in weapon two. I forgot about that. All right, so that's there. For item two, I'm going to swap over that. She's got a motorcycle helmet, so she's good. He's got the welding mask, so he's all right. How many bullets do we have all together? 25 rounds? Good. Happy to see that. Very happy to see that. So maybe give Joel a gun and some ammo in case he's got to, like, protect people here. I don't know. Just, like, something, I guess. I'm I'm really worried about the way that Max is sitting outside the front gate. I feel like something bad's going to happen. Did that eat up four hours, by the way? If that ate up four hours, I can put Davis back on the... I don't think that it did, but... It might have. Oh, he's still got four hours. Let's wait four hours then. I don't really feel like we have that much to do anyways. Okay, so that's done. So now I can put Davis back on the watchtower. There we go. 69 hours left till the watchtower is done. I'm going to break my rules and say giggity right there. And then we're going to rock on out out of here. I don't know what this guy is doing, but I'm nervous about it. Hmm. This does not bring me joy. Well, having used up four hours, I figure we'll probably go for... Let's go for the bullseye store. Did we get the same encounter, encounter twice? I think we did. Although you can get coyotes in here too, so be careful. It's more than possible to get coyotes in this encounter. We have guns and stuff, so we should be okay if coyotes come a-running, but who can I heal right now? Heal Twiddle Time, and then heal Vic as well. Everybody's got kind of low health right now. All right, well, down the center of the street we go until we see somebody. I don't see anybody just yet. Yeah, there's coyotes here. Where they're all at, I couldn't say, but it looks like we're in it. So, rounds on them. We can't take any chances with coyotes. We got to get in here. Oh, no, there's another one right there. Whose turn is it? Hers? All right, get her over there. Do some fancy knife work over here on this side. Doug. Put him over here. Have him fire one more time and maybe get that guy out of the way. My character has to square off with this dude right now. If I don't, we're going to regret it. So we only hit him for 11, which is bad. Oh, they bled to death. Good. Okay, that pleases me. I think we may have just got a double turn. I'm not sure what happened right there. I'm going to put rounds on this guy, though, because we can't be dealing with coyote bandits right now, especially that one with the 357. Just cannot have it. We may not get anything done today. We may just get in this big old scrap, and that's it. All right, so that's good. Ugh, if there's another bandit we got to deal with, great. Move him to right there. We'll take a shot at that guy because I need that guy to get dealt with. 
There we go. Finish her off. I don't mean to be like overly vicious, but can't be taking chances with these sorts of things. Reload the gun. And then maybe step out to here. And we'll deal with this as it goes. These are going to give us two more suits of leather, though, which will be nice. It's kind of like one of those added bonuses that you sort of want. Okay, zero points of damage right there. And Doug gets a turn. Have Doug help out with the DPS over there, which makes it Tweedle Time's turn. I'm going to gamble, and I'm going to lose. It's okay. Sometimes you gamble and lose. I don't want you to re... Oh, does he have to reload? No, he already reloaded. What? All right, well... There we go. Take a shot at that guy. I don't like... Coyote bandits make me feel real nervous. I'll have her stay in the back lines and finish him off. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Sometimes they swap targets, and when it happens, it almost always gets ugly. There we go. Well done, Doug. Let's go ahead and finish him off real fast. We may get zombie visitors, too. That's what I'm really worried about, is if you make too much noise. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. I just wasted my bola. All right. Well, I guess that's that, then. Let's finish all these off and make sure there's no survivors. We'll take all the armor, obviously. A couple of rounds right there. Yeah, here comes the zombies, just like I said. When you make too much noise, zombies start running into the neighborhood, and you got to kind of, like, deal with them. I clicked, I think, but I think it got it before I got it. Yeah. I clicked to enter combat. I hit the space bar when I saw that it was starting to move, but didn't work. Okay, so you get up here. We've only got knives, though, so we may not be able to make this work the way that we want it to. Move her out of the way with her turn. Doug, just shoot it. There we go. Everybody reload, including Douglas. Douglas going to need some bullets pretty soon. He's looking a little bit low on the totem pole right now. Some codeine, okay. Another leather armor. That means that with Doug, what I can do with him is we can move that over to Doug so that he's dressed a little bit better. He can get his blade on. I think I'll probably put that helmet on him now since he's going to be tanking, which means I can then pass this around to somebody if they want it. I guess not. Got some 357s out of there. That's good. That's pretty sweet. Got some okay items out of that. I mean, it wasn't like the best conflict ever, but it did something for us. I guess I'll have a look around and make sure we've looted everything first. Never know. Doesn't look like we can get down on any of these planks or anything, but I'm going to check the car. I'm going to check the dumpsters. There's a crow hanging out right there. I don't think I've ever seen that model before. Huh. Crow's just chilling on the roof. I think we can loot that, right? No? Usually those pallets are lootable. Well, damn, son. We can get nothing out of this except for a little bit of armor. And I think we're actually pretty good on weapons right now. I think we were headed to Bullseye. Yeah, we'll go to Bullseye, and I think that's just about all we're going to be able to get done today. Especially if this gets really rowdy over here. If it gets bad over here, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Probably take it slow before anything else occurs. Take it very, very slow. Looks like we mostly have Zeds, although... Ooh, that one's got armor. We might be able to get some freebies off that one. Give me Vic here. We'll take Vic out on solo. See if we can deal with some of these. Wow, there are a lot of zombies here. We need to get this done taken, like, quick. This could get out of control in a heartbeat. Oh, that one only had parts. Okay, never mind. Try and get this one real fast. That one's got a helmet. Sometimes you need head protection for the aggressive zombieing. 
The act of being a zombie is not always safe. There we go. We'll grab that guy's stuff. Uh, it looks like we're in actual combat now. So we may want to swoop in and, like, help out. Yeah, we got that one right there. I don't know if he's going to alert the others, but... Still a problem. Are they all going to move? Let's say if I triggered them on accident already, that would suck. But I think we can deal with most of these. All right, we're good. I don't know what the hell is going to happen in there. It might get a little wild. There's got to be a reason these zombies are here. They don't just like show up places for no reason. So I'm figuring they're here trying to get something. Okay, well, since it looks like it's going to be zombie encounters only, let's go hammers out here. Oh, there's a Zed right there. Oh, shit. I think he's going to have the AP to attack. Yeah. Either way, we've got pretty good bite protection with this leather armor, so we should be all right. Let's put that one down, too. Or miss. Either or back up a little bit so that he has to use up some of his abilities. Let's go hammers on with everybody on this map. I think that we're probably going to be dealing with more zombies than anything else here. Let's give him a bat instead of a gun. Wait, did he have two guns? Oh, no, he had a knife. Okay. That's fine. Then we'll give him a bat. Ah, she heard me. The joys of zombie combat. Zombie combat! That would be an awesome fighting game. Just like different zombies at different levels of rottedness from different times throughout history. The zombie of Benjamin Franklin fights the zombie of King Louis XIII. <laughs> that would be the greatest. I would enjoy it. It sounds fun to me. Let's go ahead and surround this one over here. And then we'll get in here with this hammer. See what we can accomplish. There we go. I think we may finally be good. For most of these anyways. There are a lot of zombies here, so we kind of want to take this slow. Ooh, antibiotics. Great. An arrow on that one. We sort of want to be careful about this. This could snowball out of control. If we don't have self-control here. So if we don't have self-control, that is exactly what we will lose, I guess. I don't know. If we don't control ourselves, the zombies will move uncontrolled. I don't know. I'm trying to make this poetic, but I got nothing right now. My head is empty. My head is empty. Grab that. I'm going to get this zombie right here. It looks like we can go out the back of the building, too. Either way, we'll deal with him first. There we go. Problem solved. Either way, they're a pretty good source of parts. Couple of zombies over here that we need to deal with. I'll probably leave the inside for the next episode. But I'd like to at least get the zombies cleared out before we go any further. I was going to say it's going to wake up that one right there. It's too close. But with our ability to move, we should be able to handle it. I don't think with those two extra APs from moving, he's going to be able to attack. He might be able to, but... Oh, no, he did get to attack. Okay. Two damage on Vic, unfortunately. However. There we go. Kind of dance around a little bit. Make this work. Some baked beans. I want to carry those around too aggressively because judging from what I've seen in DayZ, running around with baked beans is a great way to get yourself murdered. A full shopping cart. Cool. Nice. Very, very good for us. Let's step in back here, get this decomposing woman, probably get the cop. There we go, another one bites the dust. Go get this one. I don't know what's around the back of the building either. Should probably be careful as I do this reconnaissance because... Actually, no, his AP is really good. He can run away. If we have to, we can make with the fleeing. Unfortunately, that miss is kind of hurting us. I think it might be a better... It might be a better plan. 
Who else is moving? There we go. We'll drop him. Either way, come back for medical aid. Oh, there's a zombie over there coming to investigate. Apparently heard the violence through the walls. Probably the shouting of me getting bit. Alright, where's Elaine? There she is. Let's get Vic all nice and patched up. There we go. That's better. Probably take Tweedle time out now. We got a couple minutes left. I, I'll run this one long because it's the last one of my recording session, so I'd rather... There's a truck back here. Take the corner wide just in case. I didn't know if there was going to be anybody like loading trucks or anything back here. This whole game likes to sneak surprises on you, so... Try and get her real fast. It might be a better idea to have Tweedle time do this just because... He sort of got more attacks, and he still deals reasonable amounts of damage. Another hammer. Didn't really need that, but okay. Get the part from there. Check the car. Alright. Nothing there. Doors are all locked. The Zed right there. Let's go ahead and handle her so she doesn't become a problem later. One more. You can do it. I believe in you, Tweedle Time. I believe in you. Okay, and so the putrid woman goes down. Let's hit all the other cars. I think I got most of them, but... Never hurts to check again. Was there anything in these carts over here? Everything over here looks good. These one-man scout teams. I tend to use one guy when I'm killing zombies just because it's easier that way. Like, you know, a bunch of people run around all over. How did I run right past that guy? Huh. Well then, my observational skills appear to have failed me. Get a couple hits on him. There we go. Another zombie goes down. Killing zombies can actually be pretty lucrative in this game, so I don't mind doing it. It is a little bit tedious and it takes a while. But, you get a lot out of it. Like, zombies all tend to have stuff on them. Probably get that one next. May get myself into trouble, though. A lot of zombies in here. A lot of zombies. Wow. Okay, well, I think I'm going to break off the episode right here. We'll deal with the inside of this building in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dead State. I'll see you all when we reconvene to do this again. Hi, do, everybody.